Your time now is 6.23. I'm sitting on the couch with my favorite peeps. Hey, guys. Hi. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you guys doing? Thursday. Thursday. We're almost Have a little a bit closer to a Friday. And although it doesn't feel like a short week anymore. Not at all. Like Thursday feels like Thursday now. Yeah, I was now. speaking, yeah, I was speaking with Pooja like this morning on yeah. CHFI. Yeah. yeah. We're talking about always like short weeks feel like longer Long, weeks. Yeah, uh, yeah, it yeah, definitely does. They really do. It got right back there to Thursday. But yeah. Welcome to Thursday <laughs> anyway. Good morning, everyone. Uh, if you're looking for a place to go, let's say, Friday night oh, or okay. on the weekend to go okay. grab, uh, you know, a little bite. Yeah, because here yeah, I come. come. Uh, if yeah. you have kids, you can't come to this restaurant. <laughs> oh, wow. oh. Uh, Indian restaurant Adrak in Yorkville. Mm -hmm. They are refusing to serve children under the age of 10. Okay. okay. Uh, it's a decision that uh, the business now is seeing negative reviews because of it. Mm -hmm. uh, it has some customers questioning whether or not the business is being discriminatory. Now, it was the Toronto Star who initially did this article, mm -hmm. and the Star did speak to uh, the restaurant. A spokesperson for the restaurant said, quote, we always ensure to communicate the policy to guests when they are making reservations through all of our booking platforms, and it is also clearly stated on our website. Now, the restaurant does have a location in Richmond Hill. Yep. Mm -hmm. And in Richmond Hill, they allow anyone to come in. Mm -hmm. It's fine. Mm -hmm. But just Yorkville, they want it to be a more intimate place where people can come for, let's say, date night without you know, with a little piece. So, so right. utensils being thrown across. Right. right. Or, yeah. you know, food spilling or right. kids, kids crawling crying. under the right. table and things like yeah. that. How do you feel about a policy that bans kids under the well, age first of 10? Let's, let's talk about restaurants. And a lot right. of times restaurants, not only about the food, it's about the experience. Yes. And so you're creating an entire atmosphere. And in Yorkville, the atmosphere that would be there would be more business-like yeah. and would be more like date night and things like that. So the atmosphere is one that doesn't really Really suit children mm -hmm. overall. So, if you're bringing your children into an atmosphere, which, uh, you know, when I had younger kids, there was a couple restaurants where you went because there was a plan with the family and you're going in there and you're like, whoa, this is not, there's wine glasses on the table, uh, yeah, not good no. for kids. <laughs> there's sharp knives, you're like, not good for mm -hmm. kids. I want to go back to Jack Astor's where they can write and uh, draw <laughs> on the, on the, on the table. table. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm totally fine with this because mm -hmm. as a parent, I would rather go to restaurants that are suited for my kids, where I can have a more enjoyable meal at that time, and I don't really want to affect people around me. Yeah, I completely get that, but then I also think about people who are living in Yorkville who have kids, and this is within walking distance, and I feel like Indian tonight, you know? Mm -hmm. So I feel like there's a little bit of a concern there because they're supposed to now leave their neighborhood, you know, to go find another restaurant. I mean, there are tons of restaurants in Yorkville that you can yeah. choose from. Mm -hmm. Like, There's kid-friendly ones. There's kid-friendly ones. There's it's ones true. we can take your dog to. Yes, yes. yes. Know, yes. Like, mm -hmm. that's the whole thing. Like, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of restaurants don't allow pets. It's true. Right? Well, some people, their pets are their kids. Yeah. And they're looking for that restaurant specifically serves yeah. them. I took Isla to a restaurant last Friday uh, out in Stouffville. It's called Aggie. It was very, very lovely restaurant. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Actually, uh, uh, the, 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 the food was delicious. And it was that more, like, intimate vibe. Mm -hmm. uh, but I took her because I had to, and she loved <laughs> it. Yeah. She loved it. She dressed Aww. up and did Aww. it. She loved it. However, I was pulling her from under the table yeah. one million times. <laughs> so it's one of those things where she was going up to other people's Aww. tables and Aww. saying, hi, hello. And I'm Aww. like, because <laughs> it's a small place. Yeah. So to me, I'm, I'm, I'm okay You're with okay this. With it. it doesn't remind me of weddings, have to, too. Yeah, and just like, like people say, as, a I yeah, as a parent, you've all gone, we've been stressed yeah. out at dinner. Yeah. Because our kids are doing like, the sun. Kids are overtired. Yeah. They had a bad day. Oh, yeah. It's like time to go. Or they're like, they, uh, hey, I'm doing this on mine. They're like, ooh, hey, French fries. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> With the ketchup. I'm like, here's a phone. Here's, oh, here's yeah. a little phone. Just look at that. Yeah. Okay, look at that. Yeah. And I'm going to eat. Here's yeah, the wiggles. That's what you got to do. Yeah, here's the wiggles. Here's the wiggles. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Okay, right now it's 627 here on Breakfast Television. Coming up after the break, we say good morning to Sid. We'll continue to have your top stories as well here on Breakfast Television. Stay with us.